Allah comes before our parents, before myself. I have to put, prioritize Allah because He is the one who created me. Without Him, I'm nothing. Yeah. Without him, I'm nothing. Without him, I'm nothing. You respect him first, then your parents. Yes, you. first. Because without my Allah, my parents even wouldn't exist, couldn't exist. Allah, at the same time, he told me after Allah and his and Prophet Muhammad, next is my parents. Prophet told me, told us, if your parents, let me give you an example, one story. The, Prophet Sallallahu told us there was a guy who was about to die and he was getting punished. He was about to die, but he was struggling to die. And Prophet asked the companions, are his parents alive? They said his mom. And the, past, the, the Prophet asked his mom to be brought up. They brought his mom and Prophet asked the mom, he said, is this your son? She said, yes. Was he kind to you? She said, no. Prophet asked, Would you, could you forgive your son? She said, no. Prophet said, do you know your son is struggling because of you now? Because Allah is unhappy. Because Allah is unhappy. Prophet told us, if you want Allah to be happy with you, you have to please your parents. If your parents aren't happy with you, Allah is unhappy with you. Imagine how we respect our parents. Imagine, my parents did not, your parents did not forsake you when you was a young, when you was a young child. Let's say you was an infant. You couldn't cook after, you couldn't cook for yourself. You couldn't look after yourself. You, you couldn't wash after yourself. You couldn't clean you after yourself. Imagine, when you grow up, your parents, when they get old enough, Allah told us they become like infants. Yes, yeah. they can't look after themselves. Yeah. They can't cook after themselves, like a baby, basically, an infant. No, no, you give they need, they, you yeah, they need nappies. You need to change them. You need to give them a shower. Yeah. You need to do everything, whatever they used to do for you when you was a, when you was a, an infant. Yeah. Imagine now, majority of us, if you ask, where is your parents? They say in a home care, in a care home. And who do you live with? With my partner or with my sweet pet dog. So are you telling me a dog is pe better than your parents? Yeah, no, that's not right. They, See, I, I that's, ever, what, yeah. that's why Prophet Sallallahu told us, if you want Allah to be happy with you, you have to be happy with your parents. And there's no heaven for you unless you are kind to your parents. So, you have to so the guy was about to die. Let me finish that story, please. The guy was about to die and then Prophet said, can you bring some wood for me? Because his mom rejected to forgive her son. Then she stopped Prophet to, to burn his son, her son. No, Prophet asked the companions, his companions, to bring some wood so he could burn the son, the, her son. Not in a real way, in real, no, in real way. No, he, he wants to see, and uh, he wants to challenge the love she has for her son. So later at the moment, after some time, later, few, few, a few minutes later, you know what she said? Oh, message of Allah, please, I've forgiven him. That's all what Prophet wanted. After she has forgiven her son, he died smoothly. Because without your parents, no heaven for you. Unless if your parents are asking you to disobey Allah, if they ask you to disobey Allah and Prophet Muhammad, then you say no. Let's say if my parents ask me to get for them alcohol, in Islam I cannot get for them. Is alcohol a sin? Yes, I cannot get for them. Do you know why alcohol is sin in Islam? It's not because Allah is, wants to punish us, no. Because He cares more about us. Do you know why? Because if you would drink alcohol, what would happen? You become intoxicated, and then what's the next? You go outside, let's say you are a girl, no one looks after you, you're walking, you are intoxicated, people would take advantage from you. A car can hit you, someone can rob you, can rape you. What causes that? Alcohol. Then, 
you know why? Do you know why? No, I'm just saying why. Do you know why? I'm just giving you in the context of alcohol. Do you know why Allah is asking us to stay away from alcohol? Because He wants us to stay, to live in a good condition. Because the more you drink alcohol, now when you go to the doctor and you say, I got a heart attack, the first thing they ask you is what? Thank you, why? Thank you. So Allah knows more, Allah knows us and He cares about us more than anyone else. So the reason He told us not to drink alcohol, to not drink alcohol, is to help you. Yes, He's helping us. He said, do not commit adultery outside marriage. Do you know why? Do you know why? Many reasons. Reasons is, now if you sleep with a guy, you don't even know who he is. He runs away from you. You slept with him, example, one night, and you conceived, and you don't even know him, and he was drunk. Do you think he would care about his child? He wouldn't care about you. He leaves you. But in Islam, if you sleep with your partner in a halal way, marriage, there's many things you get that is more beneficial than committing an adultery, sleeping with your partner outside marriage. Outside marriage, he can ignore you. But inside marriage, he cannot ignore you. We know everyone. His family, even they care after you. In Islam, we care about you. Because you conceived under marriage, not outside marriage. We care about everyone. But now see how many people born outside marriage and they are outside. Look, imagine parents now, some major, majority of the people now, at the age of the 18, do you know what parents say to their children? Go outside. They live by themselves. Why? And when he gets older, when the parents get old, the child says, you know, my parents never cared about me when I was young. So why would I care about them? See? That's what they say. But in Islam, Allah told us, your parents, if they are bad, still, even if they are not Muslims, you have to be kind to them. Yeah. You have to look after them. Good. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. You have to be kind to them. You cannot neglect your parents just because they are not Muslims. Yeah. You respect your parents. Like your parents. So, so what I'm saying, in Islam, Prophet told us, our parents need us, especially when they get old. Not when they are 40s, in 50s or 40s. That time they don't need you. They can walk, earn money, they can shower themselves, they can cook for themselves, they can change for themselves. But when they get old, that's the time Allah told us, you have to look after them specifically that time. And Allah told us, do not even say yuck, disgusting word to your parents. Yuck even. Do not raise your voice at your parents. Shouldn't that just be a normal thing? No, it's not a normal thing. In Islam, if your parents are talking, you have to look down there and say, okay, mom, mom, okay. Even if she's shouting, your mom and her dad is shouting at you and you see he's not in a good mood, just say, okay, mom. When she comes down, then talk to her. Nice. Even if you think she's wrong. Even if she's not giving you your rights, you need to give your you need to give your parents their rights. Even if they're awkward to you. Yes, even if they're awkward to you, you have to look after them. Because do you know why? Because Allah will judge your parents according to their deeds, and He will judge you according to your deeds. That's what Prophet said. Even forget about parents. Prophet told me, if someone does something wrong to me, I have to be kind to that person. Even in the Quran, in the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. That's good. Spread the kindness. Yes, kindness. So what about your parents then? I think majority of us, we care about our friends more than our parents. Yes? Uh, I love my parents. But the majority of us, some of us, they care about their friends more than their parents. Or even their pets. The proof is, I give you an example, how many old people now are in a care home? Who's looking after them? The carers. 
Like yes, are they their child, children? No. Are they related? No. Without the government paying, the government, may Allah guide the government and bless them because they doing many things which we cannot cover them. The government now is like parents to our parents. Yeah, like the That's what I'm saying. Like now, like UK government now. If you get old age, at the age of 63, you get pension. Yeah, they, look after. they look after you. Yeah. Are they your parents, the government? No. Imagine the par her children left and someone else is looking after your mom. And you say, who you live with? A pet, sweet dog. And you shower, you give a shower to your dog. And your mom, you left her. And you know what Prophet said? Come at you need to done. Which means you will be treated as you treat others. Like yes, yes. Eh, whatever happens, do not neglect your parents. Do not say they never looked after me when I was young, therefore I don't care about them. Yeah. Do not ever say that. Yeah. And whatever you have is for your parents. Yeah. Without them, you're nothing. Imagine they looked after you, they took you to school, yeah, you paid your, your tuition to Utah, and then until you finish your university, still they say, My son. My daughter, yeah. my son, my daughter. Why would you leave them? Yeah. Why would you say, Mom, I'm not giving you this money to you. This is my money. Where's your money? Some parents do that. Some parents even, they do other way around. In Islam, every single blessing Allah has granted us, Allah will ask us. Even children are blessings from Allah. Yeah. Everything we have, no matter if it's a tiny thing, Allah will ask us. So parents, Allah will ask their ch about their children. And children, Allah will ask about their parents. Even your money you have, the money you have now, Allah will ask you. From where did you get that money? Where did you get from that money? And how did you spend? If I get money now, and I go to the shop and I buy alcohol, and my neighbor or my family are starving, I'm getting a sin because of that. Because Allah will ask me, where did I spend my money? Everything Allah gave us, He will ask us in Judgment Day. Allah never created this world for nothing. Example now, in the school, can you get a certificate without passing your exams? Can you? Can you get a good job? If you, can I become a minister of financial if I don't have qualifications? No, yes? So everything will be rewarded according to what you did, yes? So same as Allah. It's more than that. Can I build a house for nothing? I'm not renting and I'm not living in that house. Who am I if I do that? If I buy a house and I'm not renting that house and I'm not living in that property, who am I if I do that? If I do that, who am I? I'm nothing. I'm useless. Because I bought a house and I'm not renting and I'm not living in that house. If I do that, I'm doing useless things.